This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm Meredith Barrick, and these are your headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. RTV6 is working for you, sharing a warning from a Crawfordsville man who believes he is a victim of vaping. The more I think about it, the scarier it kind of gets because we really don't know. Kyle Lano was just 20 years old when his lungs collapsed, his left lung last summer and his right lung less than a month ago. He spent six days in the hospital. Now, doctors cannot definitely say his health problems were caused by vaping, but Kyle is convinced that is the case. I didn't know how serious it was until I was actually in the hospital, until they showed me how small my lung was. That freaked me out. And the products came onto the scene so quickly and became popular so quickly that then it's it's just hard sometimes for that data to, to make its way into the mainstream and people to become aware of what those health risks might be. Kyle is sharing his story just days after the Department of Health announced a death in Indiana connected to vaping. Dozens of lung illnesses in the state and hundreds across the country are being linked to vaping. A Muncie man accused of resisting police and drug possession is now no longer facing charges related to an incident captured on body cameras. A warning, the video may be hard to watch. Oh my God! Please! I'm not doing nothing! Call 6 Investigates first told you about this case last fall. In June of last year, Muncie police responded to a tip about a man named Jesse Vernon dealing drugs. An officer found a bag allegedly thrown by Vernon with money and drugs inside, and that led to the arrest and altercation you see here. Last week, Delaware County prosecutors dismissed all four criminal charges against Vernon. RTV6 reached out to the prosecuting attorney to find out the reason behind the decision. He told us, quote, the defendant and another person were riding a bicycle at nighttime, and the officers observed one of the two persons throw a bag which ultimately contained the drugs. We are unable to prove beyond a reasonable doubt which person threw the bag, end quote. Muncie police told RTV6 they were unaware of the charges being dismissed. Todd. It's going to be a warm day for us here across the area as high temperatures climb into the upper 80s to the north, low 90s down to the south and right around 90 degrees in Indianapolis. This evening, if you do have plans, you're just fine. Skies remain partly cloudy, falling from the 80s eventually into the 70s by time we get to 10 p.m. And then tomorrow we just do it all over again. Partly cloudy, a high right around 90 degrees. The one difference is tomorrow, though, unlike today, there will be the chance of a few spotty storms. Todd, thank you for more weather and stories you need to know. Download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.